Hey there, I'm Kat, and this is Brews and Reviews. First off, sorry if I look a hot mess. It is boiling in the UK right now, and I'm just slowly melting. Melting right here and now. Melting for your viewing pleasure. Or displeasure. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a TBR for the Magic the Gathering readathon. This readathon is hosted by Coffee Over Apples, Max Reads, and Cats and Camera. And it's all about Magic the Gathering, except in a kind of accessible way, because I actually don't know anything about Magic the Gathering, but also I really wanted to take part. So here we are. I am clueless, and yet still joining in, because I, you know, I can't stop myself. I have the FOMO, it is just, I can't not join in. So this readathon is all about building a deck of cards, and that is to do with colours and card types, and I just generally can't explain this readathon. I'm just going to link you guys to the host because they can explain it far, far better than I can. So if you want to know more about this readathon, then please go check out their links in the description below. Now I've decided that the deck that I would like to build for this is going to be a blue and green deck because I am in the mood to read fantasy and sci-fi, and it just sort of worked for me. I'm also incredibly busy in September probably the busiest that I have been all year, and so I do have reduced reading hours, so this is going to be quite a short TBR, although some of the books on this list are questionable. So the thing about building a deck is if a book has a blue cover and is a sci-fi related book, you get a point for the blue and a point for the sci-fi, and then you add it to a prompt that was also created. I'm really bad at explaining this, so I'm just going to tell you what books I'm reading and like what points they get, okay? So green and fantasy go together also. I'm not making any sense, please go and watch one of the host videos because they make it make sense. So first off we have uh, one of the questionable reads of the month and that is Winter by Marissa Meyer. Mmm. Mmm. Large. She's a large lady. So I'm going to be buddy reading this one with Abby from Abby Lee See the Book Lover. We've been reading the series it's time for winter. Hopefully I can get it done in September. If I can't, at least half of it will get done, I hope, anyway. This book is Majority Blue. It is a sci-fi book, and it completes the Planeswalker prompt, which is a buddy read prompt, which gives you two points. So that is a total of four points if I read this book, which is, you know, a good amount of points. That would be good, so here we go. So also, if you don't know, this is the sort of conclusion to the Lunar Chronicles. There is a set of short stories that appears afterwards, but like, this is the main conclusion of the story. And the Lunar Chronicles are sci-fi retellings of fairy tales. This one brings it all together. Obviously you can see that the, there's like a Snow White thing going on here. And there's just a lot of interesting things that happen. I remember loving this book the first time I read it and I really hope I enjoy it this time. Then next up I have two books in the same series and only one of them counts for a colour prompt. So, ugh. but at the same time it does still count for a fantasy prompt. So I think that that makes it count. Otherwise I'm really confused. So first off there is Rebel Heart by Maury Young. This is book two in the Dustland series. This book counts for uh, sci-fi because it is a sort of future dystopia with sci-fi elements and a loud motorcycle outside. Could you not? There are also creatures that appear in this book and predominantly the main character has a crow that just like follows her around everywhere and it's quite a prominent feature of it. There's horses, there's other random creatures if I remember correctly that appear in here so that's why this one counts. I believe this gets me two island points. If it also needed to be blue, then I'm a bit of a fail, but like, mm, let's pretend that it doesn't. Now the next book on this list is Raging Star by Maury Young. This is book three in the Dustland series. It is obviously, again, sci-fi dystopian type thing, um, but it was also green. So I believe that I can combine like the green from the fantasy one and the sci-fi bit together, so that's two points for that. It also covers the artifacts prompts because it was written in the past. It was published in 2014, although Goodreads got a bit confused and told me it was published in 1981, which is incorrect, but it, it counts. That's the past. That's like nine years ago now. It counts. If you're wondering what that series is about, it follows a girl who is trying to reclaim her brother who gets stolen, and she ends up going on this like huge journey, there's cage fighting, there's like creepy worms that eat people, and like there's a whole lot of things that happen in, in that series. I don't really remember much about the sequels, but that's why I'm rereading them. It's got that sort of 2010s dystopia thing, so I feel like if you know that then you kind of know what you get with that series. Now on to book two of Unrealistic Expectations, and it's 
Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. Not going to talk about this one very much, it's been on every TBR since I started this book and I still haven't read any more than I did the last time I talked about this book because I am a failure. I have a hard deadline for this one of the 15th of September so it really 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 needs to get done and I was like I'm putting it on this TBR. It is not green but it is a fantasy book so it's going to count for that and I'm, I'm going with that. It also covers The Enchantment Prompt which is a book in the series so that's what I'm going to read for that one. Then next up I'm going to be reading Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shona Maguire. This one is fantasy. It is not it's not blue. I thought it was blue, but it's not blue. So <laughs> it's grey and it doesn't count for the colour. But it is a fantasy book, so it does count for towards what I'm reading. I think this also covers the saga prompt, which is short stories or manga, and this is a short story. It's a teeny tiny baby of a story, so it's gonna count for this. This is book two in the Wayward Children series. I've been trying to reread this series, and this one follows Jack and Jill as they go into their portal. Jack and Jill are characters from Every Heart Doorway, and we actually get to see them in their portal world in this one. So I'm excited to reread this one. And last but not least, I'm gonna be reading Magic Bites by Alona Andrews. This is a fantasy book. It's kind of an urban fantasy, a bit like the Dresden Files, but with a woman. The cover is also green, and there are creature elements in this one, so it's gonna cover the creature prompts. Um, by creature elements, I mean shifters. There's shifters. There's a lion on the cover. Like, there's a lion on one of the covers. There are creatures in this. Now, I think the sun has melted my brain, so this video is gonna be slightly do y but hey ho. When are my videos not like this? So those are the books that I am planning to read for the Magic the Gathering readathon. If I've worked this out correctly, I should get 16 points if I've worked out correctly, which, you know, is a questionable thing because I don't know. So if I've done any incorrect math here, please, you know, just let me know, so. Yeah, this is what I'm planning to read. Very busy month in September. Questionable whether I'll get it done, but I'm gonna try anyway. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.